and angelosine spondylite is the S4 sacroiliac, is S4 sclerosis, SI joints. So the poor for the periodic osteoporosis, erosion, and S4 once again, you see the subluxation and early changes of the space and swelling. Yes, my dear doctor, I'd like to give another important box, my dear. That box really, really important for your exam. So now let's write down the box, my dear, as his box. Left hand side, write down the diseases. Yes, my dear. On the right hand side, write down the earliest radiological earliest radiological changes. This is one of the important questions, my dear usually encounter in your exam my dear. Every dice the questions are coming from this topic my dear. So we need to know them very well. So yes my dear. So left hand side we write down the rheumatoid arthritis, the earliest radiological sign or earliest radiological changes means the most earliest radiological changes that you can find in these regions like the rheumatoid arthritis. Yes my dear. You need to write down Periarticular, periarticular, the same word, the juxta articular, articular, yes, periarticular means the juxta articular osteopenia. This is the earliest radiological changes of rheumatoid arthritis. So if you write down, yes my dear, so you can write down the way I am writing. So periarticular juxtaarticular, it does mean near to the articular surface there will be osteopenia is the most important earliest radiological changes of the rheumatoid arthritis. In contrast, if you write down the ankylosing spondylitis, Yes, my dear. You will see the earliest radiological changes is the S4 sacroiliitis. Sacroiliitis means the sclerosis, my dear. Sclerosis of SI joints. Yes, my dear. Sclerosis of the SI joints means that you can see some of the irregularities of the SI joints. Yes, my dear. So, sacroiliitis of SI joints, earliest radiological changes of ankylosing spondylitis. So, if I'm writing here, yes, my dear. So, if you write down the rheumatoid arthritis, the box my dear, the periarticular osteopenia. That is the most earliest radiological sign. Earliest radiological sign, the disease my dear. Yes. And ankylosing spondylite is the S4 sacroiliac, is S4 sclerosis, SI joints, is the earliest radiological sign, my dear. So yes, my dear doctor, listen very carefully. The rheumatoid arthritis saw the X-ray changes. Just follow me. What is written in your notes? The early X-ray findings is the loss of joint space and juxta articular osteoporosis. Circle the juxta articular or periarticular osteoporosis and soft tissue swelling. Circle the swelling. Circle the space. And late X-ray findings are the periarticular erosion. Circle the erosion, my dear. And subluxation is the S for subluxation. Circle the subluxation, my dear. I'd like to give you one important box here for the rheumatoid arthritis that is really important. So if I'm writing the SS box here for the rheumatoid arthritis, radiological changes. Changes is nothing but equal to poor my dear. Radiological changes equal to 
破。So this poor, I'm writing a small s here, so that we can remember all the radiological changes of rheumatoid arthritis. So what is that? So the yes, my dear, P4, periarticular, periarticular, O4 osteopenia, that is mean the juxta articular, yes, my dear, juxta articular, osteopenia, so the PO and then PO, then the O4 osteoporosis, osteoporosis, and R for erosion, my dear, means the erosion. This is very much important, my dear, the periarticular osteopenia and osteoporosis, if I'm writing these two, we can write on the early changes. And R for erosion is a late changes. We can make a box. But once again, we have some other thing, the early changes. We can write down here some of the S bundle pack miter. S for space means the joint space will reduce. And S for swelling miter means the soft tissue swelling. And once again, in the late changes under the S, as I write down the S, S for subluxation, and we can write down that ultimately leads to, all leads to the deformities minor, means the deforming hands, means the deformities which can be evident, yes, so deformities, this can be evident in the extreme idea as well. So we can write on the deformities. So this is very much important, my dear, so we can write down once again here, so the rheumatoid arthritis, radiological changes are the poor, the small s here, the poor, so the P4, Periarticular osteopenia, osteoporosis, and R for erosion, erosion, as for subluxation here, and as for space, and as for swelling. It does mean that we can say these are the early changes, and this is the late changes, my dear. We can write down. Yes, my dear. So this is the number one box, and there's a number two box, my dear. So once again, the periarticular osteopenia, osteoporosis, and once again, the R for erosion, my dear, erosions. And as for space and swelling, in early changes, and as for subluxation that you need to learn, my dear, all them together. Yes, my dear, I'd like to give you another box for the encouraging spondylitis, radiological changes, my dear. The plain extra of the extra sacroiliac joints is the most useful investigation in establishing the diagnosis. Radiographs may be normal in early disease, my dear. Later, changes include are the sacroiliacs, as I say, the earliest radiological changes that is evident by subchondral erosions and the sclerosis, my dear. So, circle the sacroiliacs, circle the subchondral, circle the sclerosis, circle the squaring of the lumbar vertebra, circle the squaring and bamboo spine, laid and uncommon, circle of the spine, and syndesmophis due to ossification of the outer fibers of the annulus fibrosus. Yes, the annulus fibrosus calcification leads to syndesmophis, so circle the syndesmophis, and chest x-ray is a apical fibrosis, circle the apical mitre. So I do listen very carefully, this is very much important. If the x-ray is negative for the sacroiliac joints and in ankylosing spondylitis, the suspension of the ankylosing spondylitis is remains high, in that case, the next step in the evaluation should be obtaining the, an MRI. Signs of early inflammation involving the sacroiliac joints means the bone marrow edema. Signs of early inflammation involving the sacroiliac joints means the bone marrow edema, sacroiliac edema. Yes, my dear, signs of sacroiliac joints involvement confirm the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis and prompt 
for the treatment. So yes, spider, this is very much important. The spider metry may show the restricted defect due to the combination of the pulmonary fibrosis, kyphosis, and ankylosing spinal ankylosing of the costovertebral joints. So yes, spider doctor, I'd like to give one box that is really important. Yes. So yes, my dear. So this is the SS box. Ankylosing spondylitis, radiological changes. Yes, my dear. So this is one of the important box. So these radiological changes is nothing but the rule of S, my dear. So what does this really S really mean? So S for sacroiliitis, I'm writing. Sacroiliitis. Sacroiliitis, yes. Sacroiliitis means once again subchondral erosion and plus sclerosis, my dear. And once again, squaring of the next S for the squaring of lumbar vertebra. And next is the spine, it means the bamboo spine and syndesmophytes. Syndesmophytes. And also, we can write down another point, superior fibrosis. Superior fibrosis means the apical zone fibrosis of the lungs, and that's really important. And that evident by, once again, the rule of S, pyrometry. Definitely is a combination of the pulmonary fibrosis plus kyphosis and ankylosing of the costovertebral costovertebral joints. The spirometry giving the restrictive lung defect, my dear. And these are the X-ray changes that we already learned. So this is once again the box. So whenever the, this is very much important, whenever the X-ray is giving normal, in that case the MRI, lumbosacral spine, means the, means the SI joints. So we can write down here, the MRI, SI joints, will give us the idea and also this is nothing but sacroiliac joints the inflammation early inflammation involving the sacroiliac joints that is evident like the bone marrow edema bone marrow edema is the diagnostic confirm the diagnosis of ankylosing spondylitis my dear so this is very important, Maida. I'd like to emphasize here the boxes. Once again, I'm writing, this is the early changes, like the sacroiliated and squaring of the lumbar vertebra, and the spine in the bamboo sign and syndesmophytes, and once again, the superior fibrosis by the spirometry giving the idea. In that case, SI joints, if not conclusive, on the X-ray, means the X-ray changes. So yes, radiology that we are talking about the X-ray changes. Here is also the X-ray changes. Yes, my dear. So the ankylosing spondylitis, spondylitis, the S rule, my dear, the S for the years when the sacroiliitis squaring lump by vertebra is the early changes. And the late changes, we can write the late changes are the spine and once again, the syndesmophytes, yes, my dear. So this is very much important. And very, very important is 
here are the five star mites, the MRI SI joints, the bone marrow edema is a diagnostic for the ankylosing spondylitis. So the boxes mites that we already learned, the boxes are here. Yes, the boxes that we learned, the number one box. The diseases, the rheumatoid arthritis are for this, once again, the periodic osteopenia, the earliest radiological changes, rheumatoid arthritis, that is the periarticular osteopenia. Ankylosing spondylitis as for sacroiliitis. So now we made in the extended box the, uh, yes, if you write down the two, means the two and three box might, yeah. For the rheumatoid arthritis radiological changes are the poor and for ankylosing spondylitis radiological changes is the S rule might. So the poor for the periodic osteopenia, osteoporosis, erosion, and S for once again, you see, the subluxation and early changes are the space and swelling and ultimately leading to deforming hands. Yes. So in contrast, the ankylosing spondylitis is the S rule mind, S for the sequelitis, squaring. Next is the spine, syndesmophytes, and last is the superior fibrosis. And MRI, here, yeah, the most important I'm writing, this is the number four box, the MRI SI joints, the bone marrow edema, bone marrow edema in SI joints, bone marrow edema in SI joints, yes is a diagnostic for the ankylosing spondylitis. So yes, my dear doctor, I'd like to give these boxes, these very five-star boxes, my dear, for example. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you. Thank you very much.